Welcome back to my channel. I'm Christina, founder of Jouer Cosmetics, lover of all things beauty, obviously, fashion, and travel. And today I'm going to show you how to pack for a full week in a carry-on. This is a spring packing video. I'm going to do a video in this series on each season and for a specific amount of time. So one week in carry-on for spring, one week in a carry-on for winter, etc. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. That does so much for the algorithm. And follow me on Instagram where I do even more linking and even more stories all about packing. So let's get into this video. When I'm packing for a trip, I always try to think of every day having one bottom and two tops and two pairs of shoes. So it may not always end up that way, but this is how I train myself to think about a trip. So if I'm packing a pair of jeans, I need to be able to find a way to wear them, obviously during the day, that's with sneakers or flats, but also with a heel and a different blouse for night. So for every one day, I have a bottom whether it's a pair of pants or a skirt or a dress, I call that a bottom. And then I change up the top and the shoes for night. That is my packing rule. One bottom for a day, change the shoes and top for nights. I bring three pairs of shoes on the trip, no matter what, minimum. That is my minimum. I bring three pairs of shoes. Depending on where I'm going, I might add in another pair or another two pairs if they're sandals and I'm going somewhere resorty, but this is spring. So for this trip, I'm basically keeping my wardrobe to a uniform, of black and white. If that's not your uniform, switch it up. If you like to wear khakis on the bottom, completely fine. I just find for me that black is such a classic, elegant color. It can go anywhere. You always look pulled together. If you've got a little bit of jewelry on, a little handbag, you look chic, you look pulled together. If you're bringing a full suitcase, sure, bring an outfit with your prints and your separate shoes and everything, but I'm keeping it really light. I hate baggage claim. If I never go through baggage claim again the rest of my life, I'll be happy. Anyway, let's get into it. My airplane outfit is going to be a pair of black leggings, a pair of sneakers, socks, because I'm always cold on the plane, a t-shirt, a sweater, and I've actually got this blazer. This is the hero product for this trip. This blazer is going to be worn every single day. If you don't have a black blazer, you need one because black blazer is the most versatile piece of clothing. You can throw it on basically over anything and make it look pulled together and chic and fabulous. I am going on this trip. I'm leaving for the airport. I'm wearing my leggings, my sneakers, my socks, my long t-shirt. This is an extra long t-shirt. I love it. I've had it for years. I'm linking everything below. So if you're not exactly sure how to find the links below, where it says more under the description of the video, click more and a drop down will pull up all of the links. So this is a shirt. I've linked it before on Instagram and I've gotten feedback like, oh my God, it's so expensive. I would never spend that much on a t-shirt. Well, let me tell you this t-shirt is at least 15 years old. It's what I wear on every single flight, every single flight. I mean, unless I'm going somewhere really hot, I am always wanting my arms to be covered. This t-shirt is fantastic and I'm linking it below. I'm basically going to wear the same leggings on the way home. Big news alert. Do not be afraid to wear something twice when you're traveling. Biggest message I can give you is it's okay to wear something twice because I think we get in our head, we've got all these great clothes at home and if you want to get in and around and travel light, be okay with wearing the jeans twice on the trip. It's okay, unless you're spilling all over yourself all the time, in which case, bring your shout wipes. So we're gonna start with day one. I have these gorgeous, amazing black cargo pants. Now, I chose these because I love the fit. I think they fit so beautifully. I'm very tall, I'm five foot 10, especially if I stand up straight, I'm five foot 10, and I've got long legs, and it is impossible for me to find pants. For all you tall girlies out there, these are the pants to get. They are awesome, wearing the same pair of sneakers I traveled on the airplane with, with my cargo pants, and I'm throwing it on with a little white tank top. I've also got a white button down. I'm tucking the button down into the pants. It's a really easy way to wear the cargo pants casual during the day. I'm throwing the sweater over my shoulders just in case I get cool. This is a great outfit to run around, very casual, but you also look very pulled together. There's just something about the black and white that makes you look polished. Now I'm gonna show you those same cargo pants with a black t-shirt and a pair of flats. So pretty, easy to run around the city. This is a second daytime or possibly even a nighttime look. So these cargo pants worn with a black t-shirt just to look a little bit more 
elevated than with the white t-shirt, a little bit more pulled together. I've added a belt. This is a gorgeous Celine belt. Bought this at Duty Free, if you remember on my Instagram story. Putting the black pants with a little black belt and a black t-shirt, this is just such a chic look. Trust me, you can go shopping at Bergdorf's in this. You can go to lunch in the city. You can go to a museum. It's the ultimate, like, I'm a city girl. I know what I'm doing. You don't look like a typical tourist. You wanna look like you blend in with the city, and I feel that way in Paris for sure. You just wanna look like you belong. That's all. What I love about these cargos also is that they elevate really well for evening. So I'm throwing them on with a pair of black heels. I brought these black heels to Morocco last year. I'm linking everything below. I just think these strappy black heels raise the vibe. They make you look like you're ready to go to dinner. I have put on a black tank top. And I'm also putting it on with the black blazer. This is the hero item of this whole trip. And this is a super elevated. You could go to any restaurant wearing this outfit and look pulled together chic and fabulous, black cargos, black tank, the little blazer, perfection. Next day, I'm throwing on the pair of jeans. I'm gonna wear it with a white t-shirt or the white tank, and I'm throwing the sweater on with a pair of sneakers. Very casual, we're going to Central Park, we're gonna walk around the park, we're gonna walk around the riverfront. Just like anything that's like really easy, simple, casual, you're gonna do a lot of walking, you wanna wear your sneakers, this is perfect. But if you wanna elevate it a little bit, like I said, you're going to a museum or you're meeting a friend for lunch, I'm putting these same jeans on my flats with the white t-shirt with a belt and with my blazer and I look super pulled together and just effortlessly chic. Like I'm telling you this blazer is the hero, hero, hero. I like the cut of these jeans also. They're very modern. It's like the way we're wearing our jeans now. They're easy going, very wide legged and a little bit fit up near the waist and the hip and then they just gently ease out so they're really comfortable and easy to wear and these flats you know, I've talked about them a lot. I, of course, will link them. They are the staples in my wardrobe. I have the actual Chanel's, but I oftentimes just wanna bring my dupes because running around in different cities and stuff, I don't wanna thrash the Chanel's, and these ones are just replaceable, but really chic and perfect. Way to elevate the jeans is to wear them with the heels. So I put the jeans on with the heels, with the tank top, with the blazer. When you're going out, if you're going to the theater, any kind of dinner, you look good. Just another way to look so slightly elevated when you're traveling is to always just have that one pair of heels you can throw on at night. The next pair of pants I feel everybody needs to own because they are just one of those essential pieces that always look good and you can wear them completely casual with a pair of sneakers or you can dress them up. So I'm showing you two outfits with these pants. These are a pair of Spanx slimming. They are slimming, they snatch you. A pair of Spanx cigarette leg. I think that's what they're called. That sounds really weird. Um, just slim legged pants. They're like a legging, but they're a heavier material and they have some like back pockets and a really heavy waistband. So you just feel really secure. Like not like you're wearing a pair of leggings, like athletic wear, but it's kind of a beautiful, simple, elegant cut. I'm showing you these pants with the pair of flats that I'm bringing. And I'm also throwing it on with just a black t-shirt, a plain black t-shirt. These are the t-shirts I mentioned in the last video as well. I will link them here. They are basic. I am basic basically packing on this trip two of the white, two of the black. They're so lightweight, they're so easy to wear, and they just look crisp and fresh and good. These, this black t-shirt with the black pant and the little flat, it's very Audrey Hepburn. It's super chic. You can throw it on with the sweater, you can throw it on with the blazer, you can throw it on with both. But I wanna dress these pants up, I'm just putting the heel on, and what I'm doing with this pair of pants that is a little bit different is I brought this beautiful chiffon, gorgeous blouse with ruffles. And that's just like one extra little piece that's a little bit different, but not different in color. So I can basically wear it with everything, but it just elevates the look. It's much dressier, but it weighs absolutely nothing. This packs like a dream, so easy. I'm throwing over the blazer just in case it's a little bit cool when I go out and it's just a beautiful, elevated, lovely look. Change the jewelry, change a little handbag, and you really could go absolutely anywhere, which is why I love black, because it really does 
just move in any circle. You're always gonna look pulled together. So the next item I wanna show you is a dress. I did throw in one dress. Generally speaking, in the spring when I'm not sure of the weather, I don't pack too many dresses, but I always wanna have one. This one is a dress I can run around in. It's a button up belted shirt dress. It looks adorable. You throw it on with the little flats, put the sweater around your shoulders, and you can go anywhere you want, but you can also dress it up by throwing your heels on, put the blazer over your shoulders, and you've dressed it up for dinner. It's chic, it's simple, and if you really Really want to have a dress perfect in the bag it goes great for business meetings if that's what you're doing or just running around town next outfit I'm going to show you is a pair of cream not white but cream like a bony cream jean they're really chic and you can wear them casual I'm throwing them on with the black ballet flats throwing them on with a black t-shirt with my little belt they are just there's something about the cream jean that shows that you're confident, they're really crisp. There's just a great, it's a great travel outfit. It's very Jackie O, Carolyn Bissette Kennedy. It's that kind of a look. And then at night, I'm actually putting it on with that same chiffon blouse with the heel and it's beautiful, it's perfect, so gorgeous. What I love about these jeans also is that they do have a little bit of stretch. If you feel like, oh, I'm gonna gain five pounds on this trip because I'm eating you know, everything in the city, which you should when you're traveling, I say go for it. You wanna have a pair of pants that aren't too tight. So these I love because they allow you to move, they are comfortable, they're the perfect length, they're the perfect color. I just absolutely love them. They are linked here. On the final day we are traveling, I'm putting back on on my leggings, my good old athletic leggings. I'm putting back on my sneaker with my socks, putting on a fresh white t-shirt, my little zip up sweater, and I'm ready to go. If I need to wear the blazer, I can. Off I go back home, having worn everything in my wardrobe, not having brought too much. If I do want to bring a couple of extra things, I do have room. I'm gonna show you how it all fits in my bag. Always pack a t-shirt to sleep in, a cashmere sweater for when I'm either in a hotel room or in the apartment or what, wherever I am. I always want an extra cashmere sweater, but that cashmere sweater is nice enough that I can actually wear it with any of these clothes. So even though I didn't show it with these outfits, it's there, it's on standby, it's ready, and it's just another cashmere sweater, and yes, it fits. I also have a pair of pajama pants. So I always bring one pajama pant, one sleep t-shirt, and yes, I'm gonna rewear them. Am I disgusting? Possibly, I don't know, but I'm not gonna fill my bag with three pairs of pajamas. No, I'm not. But I always travel with my socks and underwear and bras. I have like a little system with this bag. It goes on every single trip because in it, I refill the underwear, but in it I've got a sticky bra, I've got a black bra, I've got a strapless bra. I wear usually my regular t-shirt bra. I've got fuzzy socks, I've got my underwear. I have like a little sewing kit in here. I mean, I have all the essentials. Like if you need a safety pin, I've got it in here. I've got my little sporty socks like these, everything I could possibly need in this. I put them in a shoe bag. This is like an old shoe bag and that goes in my suitcase and goes in here. Before I show you how I pack, I am gonna show you that I just bought these. I think this is the most genius idea. I bought this, I was targeted on Instagram, they know me so well, and it's called Packed and it's a bag that has been pre labeled so it's a it's a it's a shipping bag that's been pre-labeled with a postage postage to send home so it's got my name and address a prepaid label so i can fill it with stuff if i if i find that my bag is too filled i can fill this up and just hand it to the concierge or bring it to the post office or whatever i need to do and it will just be shipped and then i'll throw in things that will lighten my bag because i always find at the end of the trip if you buy anything there's no room. Genius, folds completely flat. I will keep it in my bag. Anyway, I'm gonna show you how I pack my suitcase. I do not roll and I do not fold. As much as I can, I keep things as flat as possible. The first things that go in are the pants, the heavier items. So I'm laying my pants out as long as they can. There's one fold in the pant to fit in the carry-on. And then I lay them on top of each other. I try to alternate where the waistbands go one way and then another way and another way and the other way. And then I put my shirts in. Every single thing that I put on is going into the bag. As things are going in, 
I'm pushing down, I'm constantly pushing it down, laying flat, pushing down. My shoes I put into a plastic shoe bag. Those are going on the inside pocket. My toiletries, my skincare, everything fits in there. And wearing my heavy sneakers, I'm wearing my sweater, I'm bringing my blazer on the plane in case I need it. That's everything that is going in my suitcase. Miracle of miracle. I hope you liked this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, leave a little comment, let me know if you liked it. Let me know if there's any other packing videos you want me to do. I will be doing more resort, winter, etc. Thank you guys so much for watching.